Hey Nation, Warren here from Octonation, the largest octopus fan club. Today, I'm so excited because we get to meet with Godzilla, the giant Pacific octopus at Aquarium of the Pacific. And we're going to be meeting with Aquarius Angelina. So let's get started, see what he's up to. Look how big and beautiful Godzilla is. So she was commenting that this is one of the biggest octopuses you've ever had. This is the biggest one that the I've biggest worked one. with. Um, last time I weighed him, he was 42 pounds. Um, 42 pounds. But that was about two months ago. So I'm thinking he's over 50 right now. Weighing him is, um, he maxed out one of our scales, the scale that I usually use. So now we have to use the scale that we keep behind our sea otter exhibit <laughs> and carry it down. And that scale probably weighs as much as he does. He's got his arm dancing on the top. He knows it's feeding time. He's hey. just being a little bit shy. Hey, Godzilla. You can flash him too. Hey. <laughs> hey, look, it's me. Hey there. We've, we've never officially met. We've met online. Oh, yeah. This is because this is your first time seeing the new exhibit. And Godzilla, yes, who got that, his name because he was only two pounds when we got uh, him, so he was not very uh, I think he's, scary looking. He's, <laughs> in, he's interested in me. He's like, who is this guy? He's pulling me really, really, really hard. He just really favors that side of the exhibit. He's like, what? He's like, please. He's like, just come over to me. <laughs> he is pulling my arms. You, you're be surprised at how strong their arms are. When he's pulling me, he's actually pulling my arm. And you're touching the little suction cups. Yeah. So <laughs> as, as you get to the bigger suction cups, they have uh, more pressure that they can exert. So if I went further in, he could pull me even harder. Yeah, I know. You want me to come play over there, but I have all these pesky bones. <laughs> he's like, fine. He's like, if you don't want to come over here, then I'm not going to go over there. Come on. Come play, Godzilla. Has he ever escorted you before? He has. Since he was little, that was one of the first things <laughs> he learned how to do. So we never quite escaped it. And this water, guys, it's freezing. How cold is this water? It's really uh, 47.4 degrees. 47.4 degrees. Come over here. Come on, let's play. Halfway here. Yeah, come on. <laughs> He's like, I'll come halfway, you come halfway. Jeez. Do you see him holding on with his arm over there? Guys, he's shooting water. <laughs> <laughs> he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna splash me. For those of you who are, who are watching, let us know where you're tuning in from. We have uh, members from all over the world. So just comment down below where you're tuning in from. And if you have any questions, definitely ask your questions below about Godzilla. So we know how much he weighs. You said he weighed how much again? Ah, 42 pounds last time I weighed him, but yeah. I think he's over 50 now. You know, Godzilla, I've actually never been splashed by an octopus, so it'd be my honor. Oh, it might happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's being so good. Oh, oh there it is. <laughs> hey, Godzilla. <laughs> I'm going to step back because I still have to work for this. <laughs> I don't. I don't. You. He was like, okay, what, what do you want? Tell me what you want. So, yeah, if you guys have any questions, definitely ask down below. Come here. I just want to touch your head. Come on. That's so, yeah, this. With this. Siphon. Yeah. So, they can actually direct their siphon and just shoot a powerful jet. There was that octopus, I, I forget which, where it was located, but he was shooting out the lights. Mm -hmm. That's why our outlet's a little bit higher up, so yeah. we can't mess with the electrical in here. He was trying to tell their Aquarius that it was too bright. So. Uh, <laughs> yep. That's why this exhibit's uh, lit pretty dark, because they are nocturnal. They do like to hide in dark caves. And if you come, come in here and kind of look at the suckers right here. So everybody always asks what an octopus feels like. Angelina, what do you what do you tell people when they ask you what does it feel like? Um, the suction cups are sticky. Uh huh. Um, kind of like when you're getting one of those like the back massages where they use the suction cups. 
and most people um, aren't aware, but octopus suckers, they can actually close in and kind of pinch like your, your thumb and your pointer finger. And then the rest of them is kind of slimy, slimier than I expected them to be. They are invertebrates, which a lot of invertebrates do feel slimy. Uh -huh. um, but between, like, each of their arms is really strong. They're, I mean, you were talking about how strong they are with their suction cups, uh -huh. but their arm is just a giant muscle. Yeah. Thanks for playing with us, Godzilla. So if Godzilla did not want to be up here and interacting, he could just be in the corner. There's plenty of times that I've gone to aquariums and the octopus is just like, eh, I don't know how I feel about you. Hey yeah, there. He's been so good. He's been so good. And this is the first boy octopus I've ever had a chance to work with. And that's a question I get a lot is how do you know that if they're, if they're a boy or a girl? Um, male giant Pacific octopuses do get to be larger than females, but when they're little, you won't be able to know. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's going to be their third arm on the right for giant yeah. Pacific octopus to tell if it's a boy or a girl. So his right is right now on our left. Yeah. Um, so you would split his arms in half, <laughs> and then the third one over there on the right would be his where his boy arm is, if you can tell if it's a boy or a girl. The boys do not have suction cups all the way down on their third arm. Um, but the females do. They have suction cups down every single arm. Awesome. Look how many suckers they have, too. How many do they have, again? Around 250-ish per arm. So a couple thousand suckers. And you can even see, as, as they go down, as you go down, they get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. Oh, sneaky. He stole a fish. I don't even know where he got that from. <laughs> hey, he stole he a fish? must have fallen out of the ball. <laughs> awesome. So what happens when you have eight arms and... Do you have any fun fun stories with Godzilla? Has he done anything that's been really funny? Um, he does like to bother me when I'm scuba diving in here mm -hmm. um, to clean. It's really cold, so I usually jump in clean really quickly. Um, but I have to bring multiple tools because he'll steal all the tools from me, like a scrub brush, <laughs> and just hold on to it. He won't try to eat it or anything like that. He just holds on to the scrub brush, but then I can't scrub with it. Uh -huh. um, he'll grab onto my face. He'll grab onto my weight belt, just anything he can get a hold of. And every time I try to clean the window, that's when he decides he needs to walk across the window and show off. And he'll just stand in front of the window, and then I'll scoot over and try to clean. And then he'll scoot <laughs> over right in front of me and block me from cleaning the window. And if you see him right now, he's uh, all those spikes. Yeah, all those uh, skin spikes are coming up. Um, all their papilla. It's beautiful. And he's like mottled right now. Look at him. His put... color range will be like red, bright red to like a deep purple, and then uh, you can turn like almost stark white. He was like, let me put on a new outfit for you guys. And if you see here, like, I just think it's so cool, the, the suction cups, they actually can elongate. They can, they can come out this way, and they can actually close, completely close on top of one another, so they can really grab and, like I said, move those arms in. There's a lot of people that ask, you know, what would happen if you just, like, just let him, you know, if you didn't pull off his arms? Would he climb up over on top of you? Have you ever? He's tried to climb out of here, which is why we have um, the barn doors that close and lock. Uh, um, he will hoist himself out, and he is strong enough to pull himself over if he wanted to. Awesome. Um, so I don't let him do that. That's why I'm always up here to make sure to kind of give him a little, like, help back in. But just last week, he was trying to trying to feel his way around in the ledge that we're leaning on yeah. is solid and he can actually stick to that and like hoist himself over if he wanted to. You know, I wonder if um, octopuses can be protective of individuals. Like I wonder if um, me coming up and being by you when he was like splashing us and now he's like, okay, now I feel like I know you or something like that. You know, mm -hmm. there's, st there's still so much that we have yet to really uncover about these incredible creatures. So. What do you guys think? Do you think an octopus, you know, could be protective of, of another person that it's, it, that it's growing close to? Let us know in the comment section. It's just so pretty. white. <laughs> <laughs> now he's turning white a little bit. So have you um, figured out kind of like when he turns these different colors, what it, what it signifies? So when they're when he's bright red, uh -huh. um, 
that's usually like right when he like wakes up or realizes <clears throat> that we're here. Yeah. Um, usually he's, when he's resting, he's more of a, the white, the mottled color. But if I were to open the barn doors really quickly and start splashing the water, he turns red. Okay. All red, solid red, um, cause he knows it's feeding time. So that's kind of like his excited color. Mm -hmm. And then more white would be more resting. Awesome. He's being super interactive, and you can, I know, you can he's tell. He's so good. <laughs> hey. He wasn't doing this for hey. Madeline and I when we were trying to do some other filming. <laughs> he's, he's coming out for you guys off donation. Say hi to Godzilla in the comment section. And for those of you who are watching, definitely let us know what your questions are. We're here, we're at Aquarium of the Pacific. Do you want to tell them a little bit about the aquarium here? Um, we are Aquarium of the Pacific in Long Beach, California. Uh, currently, our outdoor exhibits are open, so the inside exhibits uh, where our giant Pacific octopus uh, is is not open yet. Um, but you can still come outside, visit our sharks, penguins, seals, and sea lions, lorikeets. All of our outdoor exhibits nice. are still open, but Godzilla's a little bit lonely because <laughs> <laughs> it's just me and him every day. <laughs> Look at Godzilla, you are gorgeous. And I, I, I really think this is the largest giant Pacific octopus I've ever interacted with. It's definitely the biggest one that I've ever met. I've seen a bigger one. There was a male that I saw that was about 135 pounds. His suction cups looked like little um, dessert plates. They were so big. Uh -huh. So he's still got a little bit of growing to do. And hopefully I can get a weight on him soon. That's quite the process. Um, you can see right him. here, the weighing him's a process. What do you guys got to do? <laughs> well, we need at least two people because he has eight arms. Uh -huh. um, and I usually scoop him up in a laundry basket. I don't know if the laundry basket that I've been using is big enough anymore. Yeah. So I may have to upgrade my laundry basket and then um, take him out of the water for just like less than a minute. Put him on the scale, get the weight, and put him back in. But the reason I need two people is so that one person put all the arms back in as he tries to crawl out of the basket. Um, and then after I weigh him, I usually reward him very heavily. He's very food motivated. Yeah. So I'll give him a ridiculous amount of food so that when I put the basket in here, he knows it's not a scary place. And there's his beak. It's a, oh yeah. Look, you can see it. Can you see his beak? I thought he was going to stick his tongue out at us. He's <laughs> <laughs> probably taking down that secret fish he snuck out of here. Yeah. So most people don't know that octopuses do have this um, this ribbon-like um, tongue uh, called the radula. Um, and it's almost like, um, it has almost like teeth on it, right? Yeah, it's like a scraping yeah, tool. Yeah, it's like yeah. a scraping tool. Uh, we, we always say, we, we try to make it fun for the kids and say they have like a tongue like a cat just because it's like this rough tooth-like thing that brings the food into their, um, into their throats, their esophagus. And then you had said beak too, and a lot of times people question me when I say that an octopus has a beak because yeah. they're like, aren't beaks on birds? <laughs> and an uh, octopus also has a beak and it looks very similar to a bird beak and that's how they take their little tiny bites out of their food. I, yeah, I was just talking to Donna Stoff. She's the author of uh, Monarchs of the Sea. And um, we were talking about how, like, nowadays, when people talk about birds, they're like, they used to be, you know, they're, they're dinosaurs. You know, they're remnants of dinosaurs. I'm like, well, octopuses have beaks, too. And they've been long, they've been around longer than dinosaurs. I hand that to Here, him. Hey. <laughs> you want to take this before you go down there, Godzilla? Come here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> He's just kind of looking at me from down there. <laughs> hey, you want to come back up? He's done with us. You're done? <laughs> Here. I'll see if he comes back so he can get his reward. Here. Even, even the smaller suckers right here can taste. This is the first time he's getting this orange ball. Oh, really? So he probably doesn't even know what it is. Yeah. Hey. 
if he's still curious though, if you see his arm, he's reaching up here. One of his arms is like, what's he doing? He's coming back up. So when you hand him this, do you just let him kind of take it off and? Yeah, he'll take the whole ball with him and he'll take the fish out and then at the end of, well, once he's gotten all the fish out, he'll let go of the ball, unless he's curious and wants to keep playing with it. Um, and I'll pull it out a little bit later on today. And for those of you, you watching, she fed him a little bit before we came in. So, he has eaten a little bit. Hey, we're gonna say goodbye, Godzilla. It was fun hanging out with you. Those of you guys watching from the nation, say goodbye to Godzilla. We're gonna let him go. We're gonna give him this orange ball. Take you with the orange yeah, he, ball. he's like, he's like, come on in with me. He's like, I'll share. He's like, I'll give you some of this fish too. Thanks for playing with us, Godzilla. We'll see you soon. October is octopus month. We got a lot of really cool things planned and coming up. Uh, make sure you follow along here. Um, if you're watching over on YouTube, you can always follow us if you go to octopusfanclub.com. Okay. She's <laughs> saying, like, watch, watch your head. If you go to octopusfanclub.com, um, you can join our group there. We have researchers, uh, scientists, photographers, aquarists, and enthusiasts. Um, and so come in there. Look, he's turning a beautiful mottled color. He's chowing down. He's figuring out that ball with a fish in it. Well, that's it from us today. Say bye to Godzilla. Say bye to Angelina. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> Bye guys, we'll see you soon.